Hello everybody, so welcome back. Today I am going to figure out what to do with these stringers, whether I'm gonna fiberglass them in. Um, well, I'm gonna fiberglass them in, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna fiberglass them in. So I'm trying to figure out whether I should just take my fiberglass mat, lay it over top and try to fiberglass it in, but there's like a lot of uh, ridges and stuff. It's just doesn't seem like it's just gonna be like kind of hard to fit in with so many with this uh, frame system. My other thought is I'm gonna take my fiberglass, the 1708 fiberglass mat, and just kind of take my scissors, cut them up into like three quarter inch strands. See if I can do that, and then um, and then maybe start by start in the front and then just coat it with fiberglass resin and then just kind of like lay the fiberglass mat on top and then just um, kind of soak it in as I go along. So I'm kind of just like wet laying in the fiberglass mat. Not sure if that will work. I'm gonna actually try that method first. So what I'm gonna do is take some, take a strip of the 1708 fiberglass mat. I'm gonna cut it up to small bits and just kind of see if it goes in nicely with the, with the method that I just mentioned. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that and see what happens. So my original plan was to actually just take this strip and lay it over top of everything, but it's kind of thick. I don't think this will really work well laying over all the stringers and runners like around the angles and stuff. I don't know if it's gonna actually like lay in well. So basically what I'm gonna do, cut the rest of this up into small pieces, make a big pile of it, and then do, do one or two stringers to see how it works. And if it works well, I think I'm just gonna do the rest of the hole. Just gotta get through the timely process of cutting all of these, cutting all of this up. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have a pretty good pile going on here. So I'll just start like, I'll just start up here, come along this stringer and see how far I can get back. This is more or less just to kind of like test it out and to see how, how it really works. So this was kind of more like a test, which I think it will hold up just fine. So we'll see, cause I have to, s I mean, I used up pretty much everything that I um, ripped up here. So, I mean, that took me like 40 minutes. I'll come back when this is dry and I'll see if I will continue with this way or maybe just lay the mat in as it is. All right, so I'm here the next day and chopped up a bunch more fiberglass. I think I'm going to try this method again. See how far it goes. I'll probably just get another stringer covered. Hopefully I can get a few more stringers all. A few more stringers done today.
I could have bought a 20 pound bag of this stuff for 60 bucks. But you're too cheap. But I already, yeah, too cheap. <laughs> Actually, I'm not that cheap. I just have this whole roll that I'll probably never use otherwise. I'm not that cheap. I'm just that cheap. So, and I've got time. These, these guys have time now too, because it's the long weekend. So all weekend long, we're gonna be doing this. Okay. <laughs> I'm going camping. <laughs> Actually, um, before you guys all peace out, we need to take the top off this boat. Oh, oh are we leaving like that? Yeah, we need to go. <laughs> we have to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So actually, right now, three. I actually do have work in a little I'm gonna bit. Finish, I'm going to finish fiberglassing the stringers, though. I have decided to finish fiberglassing the stringers before I take the top off. Anybody have a paper shredder? Our quarter's gonna come. Mm -hmm. I think, but I think they would be, they would be brown, brown. If we just ran all these strips through a paper shredder, mm -hmm. our jobs would probably be done in like mess up 30 seconds. Spread. So basically, four stringers are complete. Up to here, I got the fiberglass in. I got a little bit of chopped fiber strands left and two more stringers left. But um, we're getting there. Definitely be glad when these stringers are all uh, fiberglassed and it's hopefully tomorrow I can get the rest done. Um, but we're coming along, it's going great. Oh, I also have to build the uh, little box around the bilge pump back there, but I'm going to take, I'm going to take the top off before I get the last stringer done because the last stringer and runners are kind of harder to reach just for the sake of it being easier to reach and just easier to fiberglass in general. I'll have the top. I'll take the top off for that. But as of right now, I'm going to call it a day. I'll just clean up and I'll be back tomorrow. We're back. We didn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta get these nails out here. There are more? Oh, I forgot one, dude. Actually, you know what? I think this is working out well. Yeah, because you're not doing anything. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, I had coronavirus all week. That's why I'm so far behind on this project. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, because I just you no far behind sat at that. home for a week and slept. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty brutal. I still can't smell anything. I lost my sense of smell. Really? It was more than that. There's still nails on the side, so you guys can keep yanking, but it's not going to do anything. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, Sasquatch. Wait, still this motor just needs to move a wee cool. bit. Okay, it's Alice. Okay, so what am I You're good. To, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> <laughs> Scooch your way along. Just climb. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna lay this. I'm just gonna put like this like that. No, okay. Felix is gonna not let this stick. Oh. Okay, so put your end down. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Put it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we need another one. Is that a brand new solver? Yeah, from the first store. It came broken, it was half price. Okay. I'll be working on the back here this coming week, hopefully. And um, finishing these stringers. And Phil, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, that's a wrap. See you later. I still need to build a... Uh, wall around this sump box or the bilge pump sorry and then uh i guess i just got to build it up to about this height same height as the stringer maybe i'll do that now quickly because then once i have that in um there i can uh go ahead and just fiberglass that together just gonna measure this out Ten and a half. 
We'll just do two at 10 and a half. 13 inches. All right, so here I got the little uh, box uh, glued in. The weights are holding everything in place. Yeah, I'll just let that dry. Okay, I'm gonna mix up some more resin and then use the fiberglass chop strands I made, I cut up and see how far that gets. I only have one thing left to do, which is putting a piece of wood right along the center in, in these grooves. So I'll go from the front stringer and then end right here. So I'll probably be doing that next. And this will run down the center of the boat and basically screw into here. So I gotta just cut that to size. So this is a cedar strip piece. I chose the cedar strip. Cedar holds up really well with water and doesn't rot super fast. Perfect. Right. So thanks to my buddy Richard who suggested I use PL for the floor, I was gonna buy it, but I didn't because PL was water resistant and this says here that it's waterproof. So I got the heavy duty constructed construction adhesive instead. Um, it probably actually didn't really make too much of a difference. I went ahead and got this. It was a little bit cheaper and it was on sale. Let's see how it works. I got the cedar strip um, support piece in, and then I coated it with a layer of fiberglass resin just to allow the wood to soak up any resin and then kind of like give it that a uh, bit more protection against moisture. So I'm at the point where I want it to be to finish the video. So I'm gonna let this dry and then come back tomorrow. And then I will start shaping the plywood to the shape of the floor and hopefully we can get that installed. So thanks for watching this far. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this project and we will come back tomorrow to get the floor installed. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good evening.